Hello everyone, this is in continuation to your second part of uh, ratio and proportion. The first part, the first part is available in this playlist, you can go have a look at it. Today we are going to look at what proportions are. Now, what do we mean when we say that two ratios are proportionate to each other? So if I say A is to B is proportional to C is to D, what we mean is the ratio of A and B, A upon B is the same as C upon D. Now, if you look at this, this can be formed into multiple cases. Yes, you can cross multiply first and say that A times D will be equal to B times C. You can swap these places. You can change around these and say that D by B. So I'm taking the D to that side and A down here. So D by B will be equal to C by A. Once you know this, you can play around with this. You can say that B by D will be equal to A by C. Yes, you can play around with this however you want to, right? So ultimately the fact is that these two ratios are equal. Now understand the ratios are equal. It may not mean that A and C are equal. A equal to C not necessary. It could be, it may not be. Yes, a big question mark on this. Same way B equal to D is a big question mark. It's not necessary that B and D are equal. Yes, and it's not necessary that they are not equal also. Just know that, just know that their ratios are equal. That's it. Yes. Now these are called the extremes. B and uh, A and D are called the extremes. Yes, B and C are called the uh, mids. Let's try solving a question now. Here we have, they're saying if A by B is equal to C by D, right? They're saying A, B and C, D, these two ratios are proportionate. Then what would be the value of A square plus B square by C square plus D square? Yes, multiple ways of looking at it, but one of the most uh, comfortable and convenient way is to substitute values for A and B, right? So we substitute values for A and B and we substitute values for C and D in such a way that we don't end up having them equal because you know we could have multiple options that make sense there right we're going to use different numbers let's say if I say that A and B are 1 and 2 and I say C and D are 2 and 4 yes so A is 1 B is 2 C is 2 D is 4 this way what do we end up getting that the values are not equal but then the fractions are this is also 1 by 2 this will also end up being 1 by 2 so they are equal yes with that let's find out the unknown that is a square plus b square upon c square plus d square a square is 1 square b square is 2 square upon c square is 2 square d square is 4 square with this we have 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus uh, 16 is 20, 5 by 20 is 1 by 4, this is what we are looking for in the options, this is 1 by 2, this is not our answer, A plus B is 3, 2 plus 1 and uh, 4 plus 2 is 6, this is also 1 by 2, not our answer, A minus B is uh, minus 1, C minus D is minus 2, this is also equal to 1 by 2, not our answer, A into B is 2, 1 into 2 and this will be 2 into 4. This is the only thing, only option that gives us 1 by 4. This is our answer. So assumption, assumption could take you a very long way if you do it in the right direction, right? If we do 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, if both are 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, then we are getting 1 square plus 2 square by 1 square plus 2 square. Yes. That we will end up getting one which multiple options can give you that. So please be very careful about that. Moving on. In a term there are four men for every three women. Whenever we see this term that says for every that does not mean there are exactly four men. Not exactly four men. They are saying that the ratio of men to women is four is to three. If there are four men then there are three women. If there are eight men then there are six women and so on. And, and five children for every three men. Yes. 
so five children for every three men whenever you see for every it is ratio okay they're saying how many children are there in this island if it has 531 women yes 531 women number of women is being given to us what do we do first we combine this ratio let's combine this ratio we see four here three here the middle term they are both unequal so we make it equal by taking the lcm four or three ka lcm kya hai 12 ye kaise aayega isko three se multiply karne pe isko four se multiply karne pe yes so isko jab main four se multiply karunga c becomes 20 this is 12 this will be three into three nine so for children men and women this is the ratio they are saying if it has 531 women if this is 531 then how many children would this island or this town have yes so how much would it be 531 divided by the total parts no just nine this is just nine parts they're asking for 21 parts the number of children would be what 531 by 9 into 20 531 by 9 into 20 gives us 1180 children option b have a look at this two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is 9 is subtracted from both the new numbers are in the ratio 12 is to 23 what is the smaller number yes we have two numbers let's say a and b they are in the ratio 3 is to 5 they are saying 9 is subtracted from both 9 is subtracted from both we get the new ratio to be 12 is to 13 12 is to 23 mind you you cannot do 3 minus 9 minus 6 directly please be very careful 5 minus 9 minus uh, 4 directly you can't do it why because these are not actual numbers these are the ratios yes so what we do here in order to solve this one way of doing this would be to consider some common variable say x here yes so we are saying from 3x if i were to subtract 9 and from 5x if i were to subtract 9 i would end up getting the ratio to be 12 is to 23 yes so we cross multiply cross multiply find out x from there we need 3x which is the smaller number yes but if you look at the second way of doing it 3 times x and 5 times x right so we are looking for a number that could be a multiple of 3 could be a multiple of 5 smaller number is a multiple of 3 larger number is a multiple of 5 so we are looking for these numbers which could be we are not sure but it could be so we know 49 and 55 are not multiples of 3 smaller number is 3x so not multiples of 3 so we will not try them we will not eliminate them right away but we will not try them let's try with 27 or with 33 and then figure this out so if this were 27 for example agar ye 27 hota 3 into 9 27 hai to 5 into 9 45 hai 27 minus 9 kitna hai 18 45 minus 9 kitna hai 36 kya ye 18 or 36 12 is to 23 ka ratio follow kar raha hai definitely not yes so 27 is ruled out what about 33 check for 33 same cheese karo abhi same cheese if this were 33 which is 3 into 11 agar ye 33 hai that's 3 into 11 to ye 55 hoga 5 into 11 33 minus 9 is what 24 55 minus 9 is what 46 24 is to 46 2 2 cancel 12 and 23 this is our answer Fortunately, we didn't even have to try these. Ye hume try bhi karne nahi pade. But agar hota bhi, to they would not form integers. 49 agar 3x hai. Agar 3x 49 hai, to 5x kya hota? 49 by 3 into 5. 49 by 3 would give you a non-integer number. Thik hai? What's the third way of doing this? Ke sir, agar options nahi hote, to kaise karte? How would we do it if there were no options? We have the two ratios 3 and 5 and you have the other ratio that's 12 and 23. Kya hua hai? Yaha se 9 subtract hua hai. Yaha se bhi 9 subtract hua hai aur ye ratio hume mila hai. Whenever such a scenario pops up, you can always do this. You can always look at the difference between this ratio and the difference between this ratio. Kyunki yaha se bhi maine 9 subtract kya hai, yaha se bhi maine 9 subtract kya hai. 
तो इसके बीच का जो डिफरेंस रहेगा और इसके बीच का जो डिफरेंस रहेगा वो सेम हो जाएगा है ना देखो 33 और 55 के बीच में 22 का डिफरेंस 24 और 46 के बीच में भी 22 का डिफरेंस यहां पर भी 22 का डिफरेंस है यहां पर भी 22 का डिफरेंस है राइट तो दैट्स व्हाट वी विल सी हियर आल्सो यहां पे 3 और 5 वी सी 2 का डिफरेंस 12 और 23 वी सी 21 uh, 11 का डिफरेंस सो so, हमें इस डिफरेंस को इक्वल कराना है कैसे करेंगे या तो 2 को 20 uh, 2 को 11 कर दो व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल या 11 को 2 कर दो व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट दोनों को दोनों को मैं 22 कर सकता हूं कैसे इसको 11 से मल्टीप्लाई करके और इसको 2 से मल्टीप्लाई करके सो so, इसको जब मैं 11 से मल्टीप्लाई करूंगा ये हो गया 33 और ये हो गया 55 इसको जब मैं 2 से मल्टीप्लाई करूंगा ये हो गया 24 ये हो गया 46 नाउ वी हैव द एक्चुअल नंबर्स कैसे 33 minus 24 इज 9 55 minus 46 इज 9 यस अल्टरनेटिवली सब जगह पे अब आप सब जगह पे आप सेम कॉमन मल्टीपल एक्स लगा सकते हो यस सो इफ 33x 24x 9 देन 9x 9 x बिकम्स इक्वल टू 1 दैट मींस 33 आपका स्मॉलर नंबर 55 आपका बड़ा नंबर 9 सबट्रैक्ट करने के बाद 24 एंड 46 दिस इज वेरी हेल्पफुल व्हेन वी गो फॉर क्वेश्चंस जहां पे कुछ सबट्रैक्ट या कुछ ऐड किया गया है दोनों तरफ and also when you have situations yaha pe you have ages partnership based questions yes this you can try this will be your homework question yes homework question iska jo answer hai wo chat mein laga answer in chat let's see how many of you can solve this aur kitne logo ka sahi answer aata hai theek hai so with this we are done with proportions so ratios ho gaya proportions ho gaya next we are going to move into variations then we are going to see how these concepts are used yes partnerships dekhenge ages dekhenge in the upcoming video so you can find all of these videos here i hope this video helped you all the very best folks cheers